July 16, 2019, the Oklahoma City Thunders franchise player was traded away to the Houston Rockets, which was a big moment that happened to the franchise. But not even six days earlier, the biggest trade in their franchise's history happened on July 10th. The trade that would kickstart their team for the next decade, the Paul George trade. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Danilo Gallinari, and five first round picks with two pick swaps. One of those picks so far turning into the rising star Jalen Williams, who's averaging 18 points a game for them this season. Which just shows you how much that trade impacted the team so far. The timeline begins in the 2019 offseason and regular season. After their disappointing loss in the first round to the Portland Trailblazers, the two stars that they had at the time decided it might not work out. In the offseason, both of them was traded away in which seemed like it would be the start of a rebuild for them. But that didn't turn out to be the case. Even though they were set with a bunch of picks for the future, they actually made a surprising run into the playoffs. Behind the aging veteran Chris Paul, the eventual star Shea Gilgis Alexander, and a very solid supporting cast, they were seen as a team that could make a surprising upset. That wasn't able to happen though, but they were very close to beating the James Harden and Russell Westbrook led Houston Rockets in Game 7. After this run, the OKC Thunder would enter rebuild mode, which was expected to take a long time. Long story short, it didn't. Okay, this will be a quick one since Chris Paul left in free agency. The Thunder this year ended with the second worst record in the Western Conference. They traded for Al Horford for midseason, but he didn't want to be there at all and wanted to be traded. No one put in a great offer for him though, as he decided not to play for them at all until the season ended. Shea was also injured this year and wasn't able to play enough to help the team get wins. It would be their first losing season since their first season in 2008. In the 2021-2022 season, it would be much of the same as they almost had the same record as they did last season. With injuries to Shea sidelining him a lot of games, and not many bright spots anywhere else besides Lou Dor averaging his career high 17 points a game and Josh Giddy showing potential, there's not a lot to say about this season. In the next offseason, the Thunder drafted two players who have shown their amazing assets this season, Chet Holmgren and Jalen Williams. They had three first-round picks in this draft, and it seems like they hit on two of them so far. When the regular season started, there wasn't too much hype for the Thunder in the NBA world, as they were still seen as a rebuilding team. Adding on to the fact that Chet Holmgren would be out for the season, it definitely didn't seem like they would compete for a playoff spot. Well, that wouldn't be the case as Shea's stats would jump to some of the tops in the league, averaging 31, 4, and 5 a game. It was a seven-point jump and catapulted him into one of the best players in the league conversation. Also, there was an improvement in stats for Josh Giddy, who seemed like a great player to pair with Shea. This all culminated in the play-in tournament berth for the OKC Thunder, where they played the New Orleans Pelicans without Zion Williamson. That game would turn out to be Shea and Josh Giddey's best games, as they both went off. Shea had a 44-point performance and a near 30-point triple-double for Josh Giddey. Lou Dort also added 27 points, too. They would then get beat in the second round, and I mean beat up. But it honestly showed a growing moment for OKC and might have been the reason it helped them get this good this season. Now in present day, the OKC Thunder have the second best record in the Western Conference, led by All-NBA first teamer Shea Gilgis Alexander and the leader in the Rookie of the Year race so far, Chet Holmgren. What they're doing this season reminds me a lot of the old OKC Thunder in the late 2000s and early 2010s. A good young team led by future and current stars. The crazy thing about it is, the Thunder's not even close to being done yet, and they still have a bunch of assets that they can use in the future. This team's future is bright, and I think Sam Presti might be the goat of rebuilds. Thanks for watching, everyone, 
and like and comment for more. Also hit that subscribe button. See ya and have a good one.